Here is a thinking problem on vectors in R2 and R3. I hope the questions which you have done so far, which were knowledge-based application questions and communication questions, helped you to review Chapter 6 and get to know it better. And I hope you feel more prepared for the test now. Question 2. Thinking question. It is, given the points A and B, determine the coordinates of the point on the x-axis that is equidistant from these two points. So that is the question. Try to solve this question and then look into my suggestions. Uh, think about it. Now when you try to solve it, then, then what we can do is, here is a hint for you. Given the points A and B, so we're given two points, determine the coordinates of a point on the x-axis that is equidistant from these two points. So what could be a point on x-axis? Think about that. So we have a point on x-axis. It means what? So let's say the point is P and on x-axis the points should be with some value A along the x-axis and it should not move along Y and Z. So it should be 0, 0. So that is the point P which will always be along the x-axis. Now we want this point so that it should be equidistant from A and B. That means what we really are looking for is P to A is equal to, so equidistance will say distance is equal to P to B. So that is what we are looking for, right? Their magnitudes are equal, right? Of course, P to A, P to B vectors cannot be equal. They will be in different directions, but their magnitudes are equal. Right? This is what we are looking for. And now what is P to A? P to A will be minus 2 minus A. 1 minus 0, 3 minus 0, like that. And similarly, P to B will be difference of their corresponding direction numbers. And equate the two direction numbers and get your answer, correct? So that is how this should be done. And uh, for using column matrix helps you do this question, right? For example, P to A, we could write like this. So from P to A, that means A minus this values. So we have minus two minus A, and one minus zero, three minus zero. That is P to A, should be equal to P to B. P to B means 4 minus A minus 1 minus 0 and 3 minus 0. So that should be equal. Now we can find these vectors and equate their magnitudes. Do you understand? So these are your vectors, so you get minus 2 minus a, 4 minus a, these are your vectors. Now equate their magnitudes, that means this square plus this square, so let me do it here to make it very clear. To equate their magnitude, these are the vectors. So we have the magnitude of PA will be what? This is vector PA, this is vector PA, right? And this is vector PB. And their magnitudes are, what is magnitude of PA? Magnitude of PA is equal to square root of this square, which is minus 2 minus a whole square, plus 1 square, plus 3 square. And what is the magnitude of PB? Magnitude of PB is equal to square root of 4 minus a whole square plus minus 1 square plus 3 square. Equate these two magnitudes and then find the value of a. So that is how this question has to be done. It's a tricky question. Practice and then do it. We have similar questions in our videos. Go through them also. Thanks and all the best.